They say heavy is the head that wears the crown. For on these hallowed grounds, it is an honor and privilege to run, but also a great sobering weight to even attempt to rule the day. It sinks into the heart of every rider, cracks the cool facade of every owner, and stirs the crowd into breathless excitement. For 164 years, this has been the story of the King's Plate. But this year was just the first chapter in a new era. And once again, the field rose to the challenge. Even amidst such daunting anticipation, a new page was turned. And they're off in the King's Plate. And a fantastic break. One of the best in stride is Paramount Prince Deep on the track and Velocitor. Elysian Field got away well with Silent Miracle between horses up in the top four. Midnight in Malibu going up on the outside and well-placed touch and ride taken up slightly there. Elysian Field is over on the inside as the field works its way down the stretch the first time, going up to be fifth Twin City. Paramount Prince out in revealed front by a two story the Canley House trying to run them down. That had to be Paramount seen Prince to be front. believed. A full on to run, dashed away for Patrick Husbands. Elysian Field in second. Stanley House in third, but Paramount Prince, a prince becomes the king. Paramount Prince wins the 164th King's Plate. As we once again bear the name of the king, it was a prince who would first take the prize and rule the day. Heavy is the head that wears the crown? Perhaps, but not today.